Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, love, healing, prosperity, also health and wealth. Of course, you know, before we hop in, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. I hope I'm finding you all well. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty blessed. So, the collective must have really needed this reading because Holy Spirit had me pull out a few decks, okay? Um, we're going to definitely start with the Energy Oracle. Hop in and, and get a spiritual message for you. Um, see what spirit needs you to know. Um, we're going to get a Moonology. Um, hop into the tarot, get some love messages, and then we'll end it with a self-care oracle and a um, ask and it is given oracle deck. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and shuffle up. Let's see. I got a couple downloads uh, collective, especially for a feminine energy, feminine energies. You are very fertile at this time, okay? So, we just had full moon in Aquarius last night, I believe. Today is the 20th. Today is August 20th. So, yeah, last night was a full moon in Aquarius, I believe. Don't quote me, but some of you guys, your ovulation is in tune with the full moon. Um, so be aware of having any unprotected sex if you are not trying to get prego, all right? Um, I also heard finicky. There's a lot of finicky type energy around you at this time or people are, are being very finicky with you um, just with their energy, just how they're acting, you know what I mean? Just their vibe, all right? Be aware of finicky acting individuals okay i'm being guided to um research the word or look up the definition of finicky i'm telling y'all spirit got some messages for y'all okay so finicky Fussy about one's needs or requirements. Showing or requiring great attention to detail. A finicky, almost fetishy, fetishistic act or collector. Hmm. What is a finicky person? Extremely or excessively particular. All right exacting or meticulous in taste or standards a finicky eater all right my teacher is finicky about spelling requiring much care precision or attentive effort of a finicky recipe okay so this could be you collective or again you could be around somebody who is just being extremely particular about something very meticulous in the way they like things um Again, this could be you. you. You could be like very finicky about things around you, your space, all right? There could be someone invading your space at this time that is causing you just to be very finicky um, in your energy, okay? Oh, all right, Holy Spirit. Provide me energy oracle for the collective at this time my subscribers those watching this video video here on youtube all right door to romance here all right Ooh. so i feel like you guys are definitely in the energy of romance of love all right there's a, a new 
door that has opened or a new spark that has been lit in regards to love you guys could be coming in contact with new love we have three three very significant all right i'm here in march 3rd um the number six forward movement success this is going to be a very successful romantic relationship i'm hearing very beautiful energy and then we have journey journey you guys could be um on a spiritual journey at this time or bar uh, um, barking embarking on a new journey all right i'm getting this this energy as the full card okay the way she has her bags packed ready to go ready to take a leap of faith some of you guys could be taking a leap of faith in regards to um, new love or a new romantic partner we have the number two here very significant um then we have envy all right we have the number 20 which reduces down to number two so we have two two we have three three we have two two six four very significant i'm getting june 4th april 6th somebody is very envious of you at this time all right somebody could be envious of a new journey that you're embarking on or a new romantic that has steered your your emotions at this time or again where i got that finicky energy you guys could be around somebody who um is acting very meticulous or very finicky in regards to you because they're envious of the way you do things so they want to switch up your flow don't let nobody switch up your shit you do shit the way you want to fucking do it okay let's pull one more I'm also hearing, hearing remove yourself away from envious people, envious energy, those around you who are being spiteful because they don't have what you have. Third chakra, sacral chakra here, Archangel um, Chamuel, very significant. So I feel like a lot of you are being guided to tap into your sacral chakra all right or you're you're being called to communicate with archangel uh archangel chamuel then we have a uh, woman holding coin queen of pentacles energy some of you guys could be a, a earth sign or you're dealing with an earth sign very significant but you could also have envious people in your energy because you're embarking on new love more money you're on a new journey all right you're you're healing and you're cultivating and you're nurturing your 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 chakras you're getting them all aligned okay you're tapping into your your creative uh creative space creative gifts here that could cause a lot of jealousy or envy especially if there are people in your space or you still have people around you who are used to you being very um indecisive very codependent to their energy and you're separating yourself you're choosing to go another route yeah you're gonna find haters you're gonna get envious people in your space okay in regards to that so prepare for that be aware let's get some uh, moonology We have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Wow. Didn't I just mention the new moon in Aquarius or full moon, whichever it was, is very significant. So hopefully you guys did some manifesting, some, um, some calling in. All right. It's time to bring in love into the situation, which I feel like you're doing with this door to romance. Okay. You're definitely bringing in that love here. All right. And it, it literally looks like you're walking directly into this door. Like you're happy about it. You're very happy about this new beginning or there's a new beginning coming in for you collective. And it's beautiful. You're going to have haters. Okay. You're doing something right. And that something right is, is 
catering to you. Let me cater to you, baby, this is your day. All right, we have the end of a, a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so some of you guys could be um, ending a new, ending one thing and embarking on a new beginning. Okay, a new cycle is approaching. Okay, and the tough one is ending. The end of a tough, a tough cycle is approaching. All right. I feel like this tough cycle is. Uh, well, it's just, it's, it's time for it to end, but I feel like with you, uh, bringing love into the situation, um, the universe has accepted the fact that you've accepted the cycle that you were in and they, they seem, um, Holy spirit, universe, God source, whomever you believe in, they are keeping a close eye on you. They are keeping a close watch on you and they're seeing and they're watching how you maneuver and how you handle certain situations. And the more you bring love into the situations that you're dealing with, the more these cycles will just deplete and end and new loving romantic cycles will begin. All right. We have nothing will come of this situation. All right. Nothing will come of this situation. So I feel like void, of course, moon. So I feel like with, um, it's coming right over the envy card. Okay. It's coming right over smack dead, the envy card. So I feel like for a lot of you, even if you do have people who are envious of you or people who are jealous of you or people who are trying to throw a uh, negative energy your way, nothing will come from this. Like it won't work. It won't get far. Actually, I see it ricocheting in the energy being sent back to them. If they, if anyone is trying to send any envious, jealous, negative energy, your way collective, nothing will come of it. You're, you're divinely protected here. All right. Definitely. If you start to feel down or sad about something out of nowhere, like out the blue, it's not your energy. Okay. Um, spirit is asking for you to call on Archangel angel Chamuel. God has specifically ordained this angel to you. Third chakra. All right. Then we have a time to give rather than to take a time to give rather than to take here. Um, new moon in Virgo. A lot of earth energy. Some of you guys could have a moon. Your your moon is in Virgo or Capricorn or even Aquarius here. A time to give rather than to take. Then we have be, be bold and make the first move. Ooh, I like that. I feel like um, a lot of you are being bold in regards to making the first move on someone that you love. All right. Or... You're allowing someone to be bold and make the first move to you. You're opening up your, your heart chakra. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Okay. So back to the time to give rather than to take, I feel like some of you guys are giving birth. Are you approaching giving birth coming over the third chakra? Literally. All right. Or, um, you guys have are going to conceive because I did say some of you are fertile or at this time, some of you guys are going to find out that you are with child. All right. Um, that's for some of you won't resonate with all of you, but also just it's just time to be more giving, more loving, more charitable. All right. Giving with the open heart. OK, not expecting anything in return. OK. That card is really speaking to me right now. A time to give rather than to take. The most gratifying life is a life of giving. When you are in the spirit of giving. When you are in the energy of being a blessing to someone. No matter the circumstances or situations you are in collectively. I feel like it's very important for you at this time to be more 
be more giving. Of course, yes, that's very basic, but it's 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 deeper than that. I'm hearing that Kirk Franklin song, you see a man on the corner with no food to eat. Like, what do you do? If you have it, a quarter, a dollar, um, five dollars, whatever you can, buy them something to eat. Sorry, you guys. The last on the last video, I seen like the lip gloss was like <laughs> clumping together. Anyway, very random. But definitely be in the more the more the energy of giving. You can be in the drive through and you want to pay it forward. Pay for the person's meal behind you. You're at Starbucks. Pay for their drink. Um, just random acts of kindness. All right. All right. So let's see. Those are your spiritual messages. So let's go ahead and hop into la 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 all right, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell if I'm resonating with you. And if you're liking the videos, if you're liking the readings. Oh, I I forgot to mention to you guys, I'm coming with the astrology readings, okay, for each individual zodiac sign. I know I had stopped doing it for a while just because I was guided to and I was, um, <laughs> I was guided to do the elements reading. Um, but I did meditate and download on the Zodiac signs. So those will be being uploaded next week. Okay. So be aware. Also, you guys double check and make sure all my subscribers double check and make sure you're still subscribed to me because I'm hearing that YouTube is unfollowing or unsubscribing people. Um, and make sure you have that bell on so you see my videos being uploaded, okay? These cards want to talk, okay? I haven't using I haven't used these cards in a minute. So let's see. Let's hop in. Holy Divine Spirit, please provide me energy for the collective in regards to love. When it pertains to love, what is the energy? Ooh, we have the chariot, Cancerian energy. Okay, forward movement. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Wow, judgment. You guys are feeling very um, lucky. Okay, you guys are feeling very um, appointed and um, like I'm hearing design, but also ordained to your person. You could be dealing with the Cancer or a Scorpio here. Um, this is somebody you've definitely been with before or in a past life. Um, something you're giving, you're getting a second chance to do things over with this person. All right. Um, I definitely, I definitely see, um, a happy, loving, successful family here. All right. And look, look at this card. Beautiful, happy. Like, I feel like you guys are in the energy, like, we made it like we here like after all the shit we've been through after all the shit we've been through it was worth it wow we have the six of cups here mm, definitely a past life partner um definitely a soul mate connection you're 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 very well connected to your person you're feeling very nostalgic about your person at this time or they're feeling like this about you all right very beautiful energy here. All right. I feel like you guys are in the energy of um, nostalgia, like looking back at old photos, old videos, reminiscing on how the relationship was like when you guys were younger. Like I'm hearing back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Um, definitely. Like I feel like you guys have seen each other mature, grow, go through ups and downs with each other and as individuals in this connection here chariot in the judgment pretty good energy i like that um you guys are definitely coming or embarking on a newfound venture in this relationship here
three of swords. There was definitely some, some energy in regards to heartbreak, in regards to betrayal, in regards to third party. But I'm also getting like, a, it's a time to heal. A time to heal is what I'm getting here. And I also feel like with the judgment card here, you're, you're, again, you're getting a second chance to make this situation right. Or if somebody is, is getting a second chance to make it right with you, okay? Whatever they didn't do properly the first time around with you, they're getting a chance to do it again. Yeah. Wow. The lovers and the hermit. This came out in the last reading, I feel like. Um, you guys are definitely making a decision to move forward and embark on this journey, but definitely after going through an individual journey yourself, or this is your person, or this is you, you guys could have both been on a journey, a spiritual journey, a self-healing journey, a self-reflecting journey, and you're finally seeing the light and you're finally seeing each other as your equal. You're definitely shining a light over this connection. Mm. Beautiful energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo or a Gemini. Who knows? But mm. beautiful energy. I'm also seeing like somebody gifting you with a new vehicle, a vehicle that you've been wanting for a very long time. Um, for you and your family or you and the kids, I'm, I'm getting it as a family car, but it's a luxury family car. Very beautiful. Provide me energy on how the collective's person is feeling. What do they have to say right now? I used to feel lost without you. See what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you guys lived a past life together or were together before um, and you separated, went through some type of separation and now you're being guided to give it a second go. But I think this is it. I used to feel lost without you. Lost without you can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? Your divine masculine loves you. They do. And they're so fucking happy to be back with you. Like, I'm getting hot. Definitely a reconciliation in regards to a soul partner. Everything about you turns me on. They want you to know every fucking thing about you turns them on Ooh. well now hey now say now then we have i stalk you online and then we have my tears have healed my heart all right i feel like um if you guys are reconnecting with your divine partner your divine masculine divine feminine um this person never let up on you. They never let you go, okay? They stalked you online. They kept tabs on you however they could in any way possible, all right? Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so finicky. <gasps> finicky! It's me! Like, I be so finicky, like, when I'm on camera, like, because you guys know I started off just showing my cards. So when I'm on camera in front of you, like I want to present, I want to present to you guys something good to look at. Is that bad? That's my ego. That's that Scorpio. But um, that's so crazy. Finicky. I'm being, I'm being very particular with you guys right now. But anyway, um, out of my energy, with the I stalk you, they... They never let up on you, never let up on you, okay? But I feel like with the hermit coming out and with the my tears have healed my heart, um, whatever heartbreak or whatever caused this relationship to go into a separation or, or in a hermit mode, it was a very healing process. I feel like you guys let a lot of um, anger and resentment go towards this person at the same time still loving this person like wholeheartedly 
wholeheartedly. All right. So definitely know they feel like they're your divine masculine or if you're a masculine energy, your divine feminine feels you're their divine masculine. And they used to be lost without you. I feel like they're so happy they're back connected with you. All right. Wow. We have healthy uh, or wealthy man that fell on the floor. But, you know, we don't take cars off the floor. We have change. Yes. Um, there. This relationship has gone through a lot of change. I feel like... Um, it's going through some type of shifts and transformations, okay, for the better. Um, I feel like you guys are divinely guided to assist each other in this journey. Wow, in this change of, of pace. All right, we have the lovers here. We have lovers, privileged lady. All right, your person sees you as a privileged, privileged lady and they are so fucking elated to have you back courtship yes all right beautiful energy journey came out twice so again like i said this you guys both if you guys were in a separation you both were going you both were on a journey to finding out just exactly who the fuck you are because you want to love all right. You want to be able to love somebody wholeheartedly. You want to be able to sustain and maintain a love of a lifetime. But that took having to figure out who you were. OK, we have a judician or judication. I'm sorry, judication. So somebody definitely is under judgment. All right. Somebody could be um, dealing with some type of legal acts. All right. Um, I'm literally seeing somebody in court. All right. We have, um, unexpected income. So there could be some unexpected income coming in, uh, for you in regards to this court case. All right. We have coffin. Okay. Definitely something had to get, something was put to death okay something had to end okay um if someone recently lost someone that's you know my condolences to you like i never want to wish that no one's ever prepared for that but this could also mean a, a situation was finally ended okay um i feel like in the past with this three of swords if your person was dealing with someone or if they were married to someone they finally divorced this person they definitely divorced this person. It's over between them, okay? And I feel like there was a hold on this person's assets or this person's money because the wealthy man did come out before. But I feel like after this divorce is final or if this divorce is final, their, 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 um, their finances and their income and their assets are gonna be freed up unexpectedly. Yeah. This is definitely a new journey for your person. I'm getting this as your person's energy, all right? But they're coming straight to you, the privileged lady, okay? They're coming to court you. You're the main female, look. And marriage. <laughs> wow, we have sudden wealth. Wow, we have sudden wealth and unexpected income. That's some beautiful ass energy, you guys. Oh, we got 28, 28. All right, let's go ahead and pull a self-care oracle and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Let's see. I'm wishing you guys like love and success and prosperity on your new journey with this person. Don't let the envy, don't let the jealous, don't let the weak hearted try to come in the middle of this. Like you guys deserve each other, period. Holy Spirit, provide me a self-care oracle for the collective, my followers watching here on YouTube, my subscribers, I don't wanna say followers. I appreciate all of you all of you thank you for subscribing thank you for allowing me to read for you 
if this does not resonate with you, you know, and you know somebody who this may resonate with, feel free to share my videos, you guys. Tell them to come over and join the spiritual family. All right, we have cleanse your space here. All right, so some of you are in need of cleansing your space. This could mean actually um, cleaning up, doing some um, spring, summer cleaning, all right? Um, wiping down your windows, your countertops, you know, just, just keeping everything disinfected. This could also mean um, spiritual cleansing, all right, saging, lighting your incense, uh, creating um, a clean and sacred space for yourself, all right? We have watch a movie, all right? Some of you may need to just, you know, relax a little bit, all right? Take a load off, put one of your favorite movies on, cuddle up with your cat or your dog if you have one, all right? And then we have beauty ritual, Ooh. I love this one. All right. So some of you um, could be feeling a bit insecure about how you look or about um, your beauty. All right. Or again, there with this envy card, there could be, you know, somebody trying to send bad energy on you, looking at your pictures and trying to um, send you bad juju in regards to your beauty because you're fucking beautiful. You're fine as fuck. OK, so. Right now, just, just pay close attention to your self-care, okay? Do your hair, do your makeup, all right? Polish your nails, all right? Put on something real cute, all right? Just, just revish and relish in you, your beauty, all right? All right, collective. Oh, one more, the um, Abraham Hicks, and then we will wrap it up. I hate when one, one car don't want to show or come up. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, what do we have? Ask and it is given. All right, ask and it is given. Oracle for my YouTube subscribers, my spiritual family. We have life is always in motion, so I cannot be stuck. All right. Life is always in motion, so I cannot be stuck. It says it is not possible to stand still or be stuck because energy and therefore life is always in motion. Things are always changing. The reason it may feel to you as if you are stuck is because while you are continuing to think the same thoughts, Things are changing, but they are changing in the same thing over and over. All right. So your thoughts are redundant, collective. It's, it's, it's a need and there's a time for you to go ahead and switch up your thought process. Think, change the way you're thinking about things because um, what you think will become. OK, so a man think of a man is. So think positive, remain in, remain active, remain in motion, okay? Remain um, optimistic, okay? Because the more your mind stays in that uh, optimistic and positive space, positive things will act out in your physical life, okay? All right, so that's what I have for you. I hope you guys liked it. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Ashe.